家收看《英文检定一》第十讲的节目。今天我们要来探讨人类的寿命，为什么是今天这种长度呢 ？Why we live as long as we do？ 首先看课程重点，第一个课程重点是容易混淆的字 ，bore、boring、bored。每次同学们好像都没有分清楚到底什么时候该用，我们今天来把它解决。第二个是 it 的发音。只有一拍。那下一个是跟动物相关的用词。接下来我们要来听 Dr. Culture 对于我们今天课文的补充说明。I like this story. It is pretty funny, and it touches on a few interesting things that are important in America, especially the story of how people were created and the question of age. Let us first look at the story of how people were created. The most common story, of course, is the story of Adam and Eve. Unlike in this story, God created Adam first, making him the very first man. But Adam was very lonely. Even though he lived in such a beautiful garden, God tried to solve this problem. By creating all the animals in the world, but Adam was still lonely. So, while Adam slept, God took a rib from his chest and used it to create the world's first woman, Eve. God gave Adam and Eve only one rule to follow: they were not allowed to eat from the tree of wisdom. The apples from this tree would give Adam and Eve understanding of the world, and would make them greater than the animals. Together, Adam and Eve lived in the garden, only enjoying their lives with no worries. Adam followed this rule, but Eve, on the other hand, was tempted to eat the apples. She didn't want to eat it alone, so she made Adam eat it as well. When both of them had finished their apples, they understood all of existence, and no longer could be happy, since they knew that one day they were going to die. So God banished them from heaven, and so begins the story of humanity. Now this story shares an important similarity with the story we heard before. Each story talks about how humans always want more. People always want more of the great things that they already have. So all people want more things to own and more time to enjoy those things. This desire to obtain material goods. Is not beneficial to people. Amassing wealth doesn't make you any better of a person. Helping others is what makes you a better person. That is why Adam and Eve got punished. They coveted more than God had given them, and therefore they ruined the good things they were given. Just like how Adam and Eve were punished, so too is the human in the first story. That man also wanted more than what God had given to him. This arrogance is what made God decide to make his life longer. But this meant that he had to bear all the hardship, trouble, and pain that inevitably comes with a longer life. 好，接下来请同学们做听力练习喽。一边听，把空格填上去。On the first day, God created the cow. God said, "You must go to the field with the farmer all day long, and suffer under the sun. Have calves and give milk to support the farmer. I will give you a lifespan of sixty years." The cow said. That's a kind of a tough life. You want me to live for 60 years? 
Let me have 20 years and I'll give back the other 40. God agreed. On the second day, God created the dog. God said, sit all day by the door of your house and bark at anyone who comes in or walks past. I will give you a lifespan of 20 years. The dog said, that's too long to be barking. Give me 10 years and I'll give back the other 10. So God agreed. On the third day, God created the monkey. God said, entertain people, do monkey tricks, make them laugh. I'll give you a lifespan of 20 years. The monkey said, how boring, monkey tricks for 20 years? I don't think so. The dog gave you back 10, so that's what I'll do too, okay? God agreed again. On the fourth day, God created man. God said, eat, sleep, play. Do nothing, just enjoy, enjoy. I'll give you 20 years. Man said, what? Only 20 years? No way. Tell you what, I'll take my 20 and the 40 the cow gave back and the 10 the dog gave back and the 10 the monkey gave back. That makes 80, okay? Okay, said God, you've got a deal. So this is why for the first 20 years we eat, sleep, play, enjoy, and do nothing. For the next 40 years, we slave in the sun to support our family. For the next 10 years, we do monkey tricks to entertain our grandchildren. And for the last 10 years, we sit in front of the house and bark at everybody. On the first day, God created the cow. God said, you must go to the field with the farmer all day long and suffer under the sun. Have calves and give milk to support the farmer. I will give you a lifespan of 60 years. The cow said, that's a kind of a tough life. You want me to live for 60 years? Let me have 20 years and I'll give back the other 40. God agreed. On the second day, God created the dog. God said, sit all day by the door of your house and bark at anyone who comes in or walks past. I will give you a lifespan of 20 years. The dog said, that's too long to be barking. Give me 10 years and I'll give back the other 10. So God agreed. On the third day, God created the monkey. God said, entertain people, do monkey tricks, make them laugh. I'll give you a lifespan of 20 years. The monkey said, how boring, monkey tricks for 20 years? I don't think so. The dog gave you back 10, so that's what I'll do too, okay? God agreed again. On the fourth day, God created man. God said, eat, sleep, play. Do nothing, just enjoy, enjoy. I'll give you 20 years. Man said, what? Only 20 years? No way. Tell you what, I'll take my 20 and the 40 the cow gave back and the 10 the dog gave back and the 10 the monkey gave back. That makes 80, okay? Okay, said God, you've got a deal. So this is why for the first 20 years we eat, sleep, play, enjoy, and do nothing. For the next 40 years, we slave in the sun to support our family. 
For the next 10 years, we do monkey tricks to entertain our grandchildren. And for the last 10 years, we sit in front of the house and bark at everybody. On the first day, God created the cow. God said you must go to the field with the farmer all day long and suffer under the sun, have calves, and give milk to support the farmer. 这句很长,我们来看一下,第一个的答案是什么? F-I-E-L-D 这整句是什么意思呢? 他说, on the first day, God created the cow. 第一天, 呃, 这当然跟圣经里面, 创世纪, 上帝第一天创造什么, 第二天创造什么, you must go to the field with the farmer. 你要到田地里面去, 跟农夫, and suffer under the sun. 第二题的答案是 suffer, S-U-F-F-E-R 在烈日下, 你要在那里痛苦, 呃, 风吹日晒雨淋的, Have calves, 第三题的答案, C-A-L-V-S, calves 要生小牛, and give milk 你生了小牛, 你就会, 你是乳牛, 就会分泌乳汁, 第四题的答案是 support 你分泌乳汁, 要, 供养牛奶, 供养这个农夫, 要给农夫吃, okay, 农夫喝, support 所以整句就说, 牛啊, okay, 你要, 你的工作是什么? 你要陪着农夫到农田里面去工作, 你要生小牛, 你要每天, 呃, 生产牛乳, okay. I'll give you a lifespan of 60 years 第五题的答案是 span, S-P-A-N Span 上帝说,你如果这样做,我就给你六十年的寿命。这个牛一听, The cow said, that's a kind of a tough life. You want me to live for 60 years. 第六题的答案是 tough, T-O-U-G-H. 牛就说了,天哪,这么痛苦,这么痛苦的生活,你居然要我活六十年。哇,不要不要不要, let me have 20 years, 我这样活二十年就好了。and I'll give back the other 40. 我还给你吧, 另外那40年我还给你了。上帝是很好商量的,好好先生, God agreed, 上帝就同意了。那第二天,上帝创造了谁呢? On the second day, God created the dog. 上帝创造了一只狗。God said, sit all day. 狗的天职是什么? 它就是要看家嘛,对不对? Sit all day by the door of your house. 你整天要坐在家门口 and bark. 这是第七题的答案, B-A-R-K, 就是吠狗的叫声叫bark. 你不可以说你在叫什么, what are you barking? 这是对人家很不礼貌的用法, 只有狗用这个bark, OK? 你要整天坐在你家门口, 来来往往的人呢, 你就对他叫, 对谁叫? Bark at anyone who comes in or walks past. 对着任何要进来的或者路过的人,就在那里叫。你如果这样做的呢? I'll give you a lifespan of 20 years. 好,那你的寿命就有20年。The dog said, That's too long to be barking. 天哪,要这样叫20年。我不要,我不要,叫太久了。不要这样一直狗吠,这样吠了20年。Give me 10 years. 我叫十年就好了。And I'll give back the other 10. 我剩下十年还给你。那上帝是好好先生了。So God agreed. 他当然又同意了。那第三天他创造了谁呢? On the third day, God created the monkey. 创造了猴子。上帝说, God said, 这是第八题的答案。Entertain, E-N-T-E-R-T-A-I-N, 是娱乐什么人? Entertain people. 你要去娱乐人们。那做什么呢? Do monkey tricks. 第九题的答案是 tricks. T-R-I-C-K-S. 你要耍猴戏给他们看. 
，他们看了就会快乐，就会大笑。Make them laugh， 让他们开怀大笑。那我就会给你几年的寿命呢 ？I'll give you a lifespan of twenty years. 我就会给你二十年的寿命。The monkey say, "How boring! 这么无聊的生命。Monkey tricks for twenty years. 我二十年都要这样耍猴戏给人类看吗 ？I don't think so. 哦、oh, ，我不要，不要。OK, I don't think so. 嗯，这个点子不好。The dog gave you back ten. So that's what I'll do too. Okay? 他说狗都还给你十年了，我也要这么做。好，我也要还给你十年。我不要一直耍猴戏给人类看这么久。God agreed again. 上帝又同意了。On the fourth day, 好，第四天，上帝创造了人类。这个不是圣经的创呃创世纪，没有关系，要再讲一遍，不要混淆了。On the fourth day, God created man. 上帝创造了人类。God said, 好，上帝说，人要做什么事呢？人要做牛做马吗？要做猴子做猴做猴子耍猴戏给人家看吗？都不用啊！上帝太爱人类了。他说，你只要做什么呢 ？Eat， 吃饭 ；sleep， 睡觉 ；play， 玩。注意一下，这几个字都是长音。Eat， 两拍的。Eat，sleep，sleep， sleep, 后面的。Play 这三个字不是随便乱选的，选这个是有原因的，因为它们都是两拍的长母音。Eat, sleep, play. OK， 都是两拍。Do nothing， 你什么都不用做，你也不用耕田，也不用生产，也不用耍猴戏，也不用在门口看门。Do nothing， 什么都不用做 ，just enjoy, enjoy. 你就是享受我所有给你创造的这些就好了。I'll give you twenty years. 那你就有二十年的寿命。人类一听啊，他说 ：“What？ 什么 ？Only twenty years？ 哇，整天吃喝玩乐，怎么才给我二十年呢 ？”No way！ 有没有发现，每个人都在跟上帝讨价还价？所以他就说了 ：“No way！ 才不不可以，不可以，不可能的。No way！ Tell you what？” Tell you what, 通常是要跟人家你勾血要谈判的时候，要提出你的条件的时候，你就会说 Tell you what, 这样好了。I'll take my twenty. 你要给我的那二十年呢？我接受了。I'll take my twenty. 我的二十年。And the other forty, the cow gave back. 啊，这个时候同学们算数要好一点哦。第一个创造的是牛，记得吗？上帝给他六十年，他说不要。太辛苦了，所以他把四十年还给上帝了。他说：“啊，那个牛不要的，还给你的四十年，你也给我好了。And the ten, the dog gave back. 还有那个狗还给你的那十年，你也给我好了。And the ten, the monkey gave back. 那猴子也还给你十年，那你也一起给我好了。That makes eighty. OK. 所以他说，那总共这样加起来，我自己原来有的还有牛，还有狗，还有猴子，还给你的，他们不要的，通通给我。”那这样加起来几年呢？那 makes eighty， 加起来就是八十年，好吗？哇，上帝说 ，OK， 真是好好先生哈。上帝真是凡祈求的必应允，凡叩门的就必开门。每一个人跟他求什么，他都说好。上帝就说好吧 ，You got a deal。这是第十题的答案 ，deal，D E A L。好，所以。So this is why, for the first twenty years, we eat, sleep, play, enjoy, and do nothing. 所以呢，这个就是为什么我们人类的前二十年呢是什么都不用做。你都在干嘛 ？Eat， 两拍，记得 ，eat， sleep， play， 吃饭，睡觉，玩 ，enjoy， 无忧无虑的享受你的人生 ，and do nothing， 什么都不用做。人生的前二十年是这样，那接下来的四十年在干嘛呢 ？For the next forty years, we slave in the sun to support our family. 接下来这个四十年啊，就是所谓的三明治时代了。你要开始进入职场，要开始生小孩，要侍奉父母。OK， 上有高堂，这个呃，还有下面有小孩进入你的。这四十年就是你人生当中要打拼的这四十年。We slave in the sun to support our family. 你就开始要养家活口了。
就像牛一样，要在太阳底下风吹日晒的 ，OK， 劳碌的为你的三餐来奔波。那接下来的十年呢 ？For the next ten years, we do monkey tricks to entertain our grandchildren. 那接下来的十年做什么嘞？就是跟猴子一样耍猴戏，耍猴戏给谁看啊？给我们的孙子看 ，OK， to entertain our grandchildren。所以很多老人很喜欢带小孩，哇，这个呃，我们说这个彩衣于亲，结果这是反过来哈，这个彩彩老于孙 ，OK， 呃，老人家想尽各种方法让孙子们快乐。And for the last ten years, we sit in front of the house and bark at everybody. 那接下来最后那十年呢？我们做什么事？我们就像一只狗一样，坐在门口，对着每一个人一直叫，一直叫，一直叫，一直叫 ，and bark at everybody。这件预言是不是很有趣呢？除了说明我们人生为什么是八十年，也在告诉我们、提醒我们，我们人生的境况，每一个阶段、每一个阶段所该扮演的角色。那当然也有嘲讽的意味，特别是最后的十年，台湾将进入老年的社会，我们要做一个很有智慧的老人。我们不希望在我们的人生的晚年的时候，像一只看家狗，坐在门口，任何一个人来，我们都一直对他叫，一直对他叫。我们要当一个很愉快的，呃，是一个很快乐的老人。我们不要说作为一只狗 bark at everybody， 我们不要对每件事情都抱怨，要充满感恩，充满快乐。今天的文法重点是 bore, boring, bored， 到底有什么差别？如果你从前就没有搞清楚的，今天一次把它弄清楚。你在写作或者你在说话的时候，不要犯这样的错误。好，我们来看第一个 bore, b o r e， 这个字是一个呃，使别人感到什么，包含你自己。OK， 比方说。这本书只使我感到，使我觉得无聊，让我厌烦。你可以说 ，This book bores me. This person bores me. 或者你说，哎，这个会议好冗长，让我觉得很无聊。This meeting bores me. 什么东西让什么人觉得怎么样 ？OK， 是使别人感到无聊。那我们看下一个字 ，boring。Boring 其实就是从 bore 变来的现在分词。那现在分词呢，就是指什么事情很无聊。How boring monkey tricks for twenty years。我们在课文里面有听到的。How boring monkey tricks for twenty years。耍猴戏耍二十年，那也太无聊了。指的是这些猴戏很无聊。Boring。那接下来是 bored。也是从 bore b o r e 变来，这是过去分词。过去分词是使人感到无聊。I am bored. 你不能说 the book is bored. The book is boring. I am bored with the book. OK， 人感到无聊。I am bored. She is bored. They are bored because I have nothing to do. I am bored because I have nothing to do. 我因为没有事做，所以我觉得很无聊。但是你如果说 I am boring， 是表示我这个人很无聊，每天就是很呆板。I am boring， 是你这个人让别人感到无聊。那如果是你自己感到无聊 ，I am bored because I have nothing to do， 因为没事做，所以你就很无聊啊。接下来我们要听听 Dr. Culture 对我们今天课文的有关文化的补充说明。Now the second part. Is of course the question of aging. As any other culture in the world, American culture is full of stories that are about aging and how people's lives change while growing older. Let's look at one of the oldest ones: the story of the Sphinx. The Sphinx, a creature that was part lion, part bird. And part human guarded the entrance to the ancient city of Thebes. 
The Sphinx would ask any person that wanted to enter the city a riddle. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three legs in the evening? The answer to the riddle was, of course, a human. A human uses four legs as a baby, two as an adult, and two legs and a cane toward the end of their life. Just like the first story, this story shows how we as people experience life. In the beginning, life is really comfortable and full of joy and happiness. But as you get older, life slowly gets harder and harder. At the end of your life, it has been so hard that you have to use a stick to keep yourself standing upright. The last point I would like to make is that of arrogance. In the story, all the animals are more humble. Even the monkey's life looks pretty good seeing as he would also be having fun for his entire life. But even he is humble enough to ask for fewer years to his life. The human, instead, is more arrogant and gets punished for that. This story also wished to teach us that arrogance is a bad trait to have, with humility being a much better choice. Tricks, T R I C K S. Wow, this word has many consonants. Besides the consonant I, you can see T R C K S. This word has five consonants. This is a consonant chain. The students will be used to using the consonant at the end of the consonant. For example, tricks. 很多同学会念成，如果你现在正在念的，或者刚才念的是念成 tricks， 你已经加上母音了。它从头到尾只有一个母音，它叫 tricks。舌头卷起来 ，tricks， 而且是一一拍 tricks。英文很特别的，虽然你看到它很长，但是不代表它音要念得很长，它是重音的文字。它只有一个重音，因为它只有一个母音。那虽然它很多字，对不对？你看它实在是很长 ，T R I C K S， 不要被它骗了，不要念长，因为它其实就一一拍而已 ，tricks 就解决了。T R I C K S， 不要被它的拼法骗啦。来，再念一遍 ，tricks 一拍 ，OK。那下一个字呢？虽然很短 ，S I T sit sit 也是一拍。所以英文是一个很有趣的语言，你不要管它几个字，因为它那些都是子音，它就没有音节。英文是音节的概念，它就一个音节，就一拍 tricks。sit， 你看六个字的跟这个三个字的字母，你看一个很长，一个很短，可是拍数是一样的。sit， tricks， 因为它的母音就是 it， 就是同样这个字。那下一个字 monkey。跟 key 是不一样的哦。Monkey 前面的 monkey 同样是 k e y， 但是前面加了 m o n k e y， 它不是在重音节，所以它叫 monkey 后面一短音。那如果你说钥匙 ，give me your key，key key 是两拍 ，OK。所以我们再来看 monkey。Key， 拍数两个字是一样的，有听清楚吗？老师再讲一遍 ，monkey 是不是两拍？后面的 key 几拍 ？key 也是两拍。虽然字一个看起来很长，一个很短，但是因为牵涉到它是长音还是短音，它的拍数就是一样的。monkey，key。Monkey, key.